Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can make this. This rewind glitch effect is so fire, and I promise you guys it'll add so much sauce to your videos. So opened up inside of Premiere Pro here, we have this clip from the Destroy Lonely music video. And to get started, you want to find the part of your clip where you want it to rewind it. Now, I recommend not doing this in the middle of a client's music video. Maybe save it towards the end. Or if you have someone who's down for some more creative stuff, you could maybe do it in the middle of the video. But I feel like save it towards the end of the video. Right when the beat hits there, when he says got it before the scene switches right here, I'm going to press C on my keyboard and cut it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this clip now and we're going to be rewinding this entire section. So we're going to right click, go over to unlink. And what we're going to do now is we're going to click on the audio, right click on that, go over to speed and duration, and we're going to reverse the speed of this. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the video, right click, go over to speed and duration. We're going to reverse it as well, but we're going to make this one 400. So you get this. Whereas if the audio was 400, it would sound like this. Which like, this sounds way sicker. And now what you're going to do is you're going to extend your video. And now we're going to go and move it to about here. Highlight both of them, move them over, and then delete the reversed audio. What I recommend if you guys have control over this is actually bringing it back where the beat hits. I think it goes a lot harder. Super fire. All right. So now what we're going to do that you guys can grab a link below for completely free is we're going to be dragging and dropping this VFX rewind glitch on top of our footage. So I'm just going to drag and drop this into the timeline here and you guys can see it looks super fire on top of our footage. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on it, go over to effect controls here in the top right, and we're going to go ahead and change the blend mode from normal to screen. You guys can see it's just going to get rid of all the black parts right there. Now we're going to press C on our keyboard and cut out the rest. You guys can see we have a glitch effect come into this part right here. What I recommend doing is pressing S on your keyboard and just having it come over a couple frames before just to transition it a little bit better. That looks good there. Now to make this effect stand out, if you guys turn off the audio for the song, you can see we have this buzzing effect. I'm going to right click and go over to audio gain and turn this up a little bit. Let's do like plus 10. If we put the audio back on, we kind of have that fuzzing effect to add a little bit to the effect. And also in the free download as well, I'm going to link you guys this reverse sound effect too. We're gonna go ahead and drag this. But for this one, we wanna to go to the peak where it starts, cut it to there, and we're gonna bring it in just a tad before, like where the glitch happens is where you wanna bring it in. And then we're gonna cut it right here, and we're gonna right click, apply default transition, and we're gonna move this over just so it transitions out. So we have this so far. Super, super fire, guys. Now to add a little bit more sauce to this, we're gonna go ahead into our effects, and we're gonna add a low pass onto the music video sound. And now to move on, guys, there's a couple ways that we could spice this up. You could leave it as is, but I'm going to be using some of my fire presets. If we go into effects, open up presets, and then open up my opium looks here, you guys can see we have a ton of presets that'll make this look so fire. So for the first one here, I'm going to go ahead and add on a night vision with flicker and colored noise. And you guys can see instantly that adds such a cool effect. <laughs> Or if you want to press Control Z on that, we can add a glitch effect here. As you guys can see, that's going to make the whole thing look super glitchy. Or I have these camcorder effects as well. It's going to make the entire thing black and white and look super old. So we're going to go ahead and apply the night vision with flicker and color noise here. And then now to add a little bit more spice, we're going to be using my Whooshes and Risers pack as well. All these editing packs you guys can grab down below on my website. And if you guys use code 15 off, you can save yourself 15% off. I highly recommend them for your projects. So we're going to go into risers here and we can play riser one just by double clicking it so we're gonna drag this in and we're gonna put this so it ends right as it goes back into normal so as you guys see here super fire now we're gonna go into whooshes and risers again and we're gonna open up the whooshes section and let's go over to medium here and double click on them and press the space bar to see how they sound I like this one here. I'm going to go ahead and drag this below. So if I play this through, guys, you guys can see with the sound effects, it sounds like this. And we can even right click and turn this one down just a little bit. Let's do minus five. Just to sell it a little bit more. And then for the part where it goes in, I'm going to drag 18 in here. And I think that is such a fire effect, guys. If there's anything else you guys would add to this effect, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. All the editing presets and packs that I use in this will be on my store link below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.